Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 25 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. By the end of, of this lecture, we're gonna complete chapter 8, the errors, failures, and risks. The topics to be covered in this lecture, increasing reliability and safety, dependence, risk, and progress. Let's start with the increasing reliability and safety. How can we increase the reliability and safety? We can increase it by some techniques or professional techniques, such as the importance of good software engineering and professional responsibility. Also, use interfaces and human factors. In other words, design the user interface according to the user's requirements. Another technique is the redundancy and self-checking. Also, the process of testing. Include real-world testing with real users. Moreover, the management and communication. Also, high reliability organization principles that includes preoccupation with failure and loose structure. All of these techniques play an important role in increasing the, uh, the reliability and safety. Management experts use the term High Reliability Organization HRO for an organization either business or government that operates in difficult environments often with complex technology where failures can have extreme consequences for example air traffic control nuclear power plants preoccupation with failure always assuming something unexpected can go wrong not just planning designing and programming for our problems that team can uh, foresee but always being aware that they might uh, miss something also being alert to cues that might uh, indicate an error including fully analyzing near failures moreover looking for uh, systematic reasons for an error or a failure rather than narrowly focusing on the detail that was wrong. For the loose structure, it should be easy for a designer or programmer to speak to people in other departments or higher up without going through rigid channels that discourage communication. In safety critical applications, we have to identify risks and protect against them, convincing case for safety and avoid complacency. The software expert emphasizes that the, with the good technical uh, practices and good management, you can develop large system right. One lesson is that most accidents are not the result of unknown uh, scientific principles, but rather of uh, a failure to apply well-known standard engineering practices. To increase reliability and safety, you have to consider more about the specifications. By learning the needs of the client and understanding how the client will use the system. Good software developers help clients better understand their own goals and requirements which the clients might not be good at articulating. Moreover, regarding increasing reliability and safety is the design of the user interfaces. User interfaces should provide clear instructions and error messages and must be consistent. Also, the user 
interface should include appropriate checking of input to reduce major system failures uh, caused by types or other errors a person will likely make also the user interface uh, needs the feedback to understand what the system is doing at any time it's like a dashboard uh, the system should behave as an experienced user experts and finally a workload that is too low can be dangerous for the the redundancy and self checking multiple computers capable of same task if one fails another can do the job software modules can check their own results either against a standard or by computing the same thing in two different ways and then comparing to see if the two results match or not another thing is the is the voting redundancy voting redundancy used in flight control systems in aircraft aims to protect against uh, consistently uh, fault faulty assumptions or methods of uh, one programming team three independent teams write modules for the same purpose in three different programming languages uh, the modules run on three separate computers a fourth unit examines the output of the three modules and chooses uh, the result obtained by uh, at least two out of three one important thing is the testing even small changes need throw testing independent verification and validation is one process uh, uh, during the testing beta testing is the process of testing the system before it's being ready one important thing is to create or make it available the low regulation and the markets one important thing for the safety and reliability is to making laws and regulations for the criminal and civil uh, penalties to provide incentives to produce good systems but should not inhibit innovations also regulation for safety critical applications uh, laws and regulations for professional licensing making agreements for and against and also taking the responsibility and also taking the responsibility here is a question are we too dependent on computers I think the answer in in most cases is yes computers are tools but they are not the only dependence electricity for example we cannot live without electricity regarding the risk and uh, progress we have to develop and improve uh, new technologies in response to accidents and disaster and also we should compare the risks of using computers with the risks of other methods and the benefits to be gained at the end think about these questions do you believe we are too dependent on computers why or why not also in what ways are we safer due to new technologies see you in the next lectures and goodbye